All right, so these N64s I tested yesterday or the day before, actually. So these fully work. This jumper pack's got something weird going on with it. We'll come back to that. First, let's pull these apart. Tear them down. Tear those down. We gotta get those listed. My little pad here I use just to kind of give it a little make it work a little bit better with that there. I need the screws. So we got two of these. So the fun thing with this is one's an 08. So 08 is the better board, I guess. And then there is there is an 09, which I actually have an 09 somewhere. Oh, look at this. That's my 09 with the scoop and the high res. That's mine. This is an 08 and this is an 05. It's supposed to be better graphics, I guess, but they're not. To me, the graphics are all boxy. Anyway. So. <coughs> One, two. Find a screwdriver I need. Uh, let's see. You can actually use that actually. A lot of times you gotta, gotta pop these a little bit so I don't strip them. Actually, that's not gonna work. No, nope, that's not gonna work either. I gotta pop these first because. Give them a little. These are the ones that are always on really tight. These little buggers here. So the 09 is the last board and it has a different top to it. It doesn't have it, it has like a heat sink built into the plate as opposed to this. All the rest of them are just like this. Just kind of loosen them because I know I'm gonna. It's easy once I crack them, then I can use my other screw. I don't want to strip them. So, good thing on these is this screw set is a good seller. I'll say I sell out of them because they're in, but unless you get them original, they're kind of impossible to duplicate that I'm aware of. I'm sure you can find a way to do it. But I try to stay original when I can. Alright, so screw set in the metal set. Because if you've opened up as many of these as I have, there's a lot of music. They can be pretty bad inside. So I often sell replacement metal sets. So uh, just that alone is a good seller. And then you have the motherboard. And sometimes I sell a jumper pack, but not that often. A lot of times the issue is the jumper pack or the connection to the jumper pack. So I'm just cracking these because it's gonna make life a lot easier. I'm taking these off because I'm going to get both of these both these little buggers listed today. Oh, two screw sets. I've got plenty of metal sets. So we'll get that listed today. So again, I have an 05, which is a normal, and then the 08, 08 which is a little better. No, I'll show you there's a chip that's half, it's a half a chip. I'll show you when you get in here. And of course the cartridge slots. 
which I'm going to sell those too. So just before the even before you even get to the motherboard, I got all those other fun parts. <clears throat> These are longer screws. So, get these done. But, so, everything about this I can sell, which is cool. And all this sells pretty good because it's hard to find. Especially like the cartridge slots and all that. Those are hard to find. Just have the two N sixty fours. Came to me in a little, a little gift. Gift bin, I guess you could call it. A wall like open stuff. I think I have a video of it. Yeah, I do have a video of it. When I got the little gift bin, it wasn't a gift I had to pay for, it, but it was fairly reasonable priced for what I got, and everything works. So that's a bonus. So my little gift bin will give back eventually. I just haven't had time to get to it. I've been trying to do some stuff outside. I'm in, a, in the middle of a mass recycle. Not really recycle at this point. Right now it's just a kind of a centralized. That's the word I'll use. A mass centralized. So in my gazebo, if you look through the video there, it's a short one. I have oop, eight years of gaming stuff left over that I never sell. So, normally I have a better screwdriver, but I can't find it, so I have to kind of do it this way. It's the only way to. Oh, I don't want to ruin these. Oh, these are all different screws that work. Trying to clean out some room. I got two spaces for storage. And there's not a place in my house upstairs, downstairs, outside, in sheds, or anywhere where I don't have gaming stuff. That's you know, basically it's like a salvage yard. Just piled to the kind of max. So now I'm trying to centralize it. Which I've already started. Or actually, I got two rooms open now I can get into where I couldn't before. So that's exciting. Because eventually, this room that I sleep in and I do all my stuff here is just so packed. I have basically have a little alleyway to my bed, and that's about it. <laughs> so eventually, all the, most of this stuff is going to come out of here. Or at least some of it anyway. So I can find some stuff. But that's my goal for the summer. I'm already ahead of the game. So. so this screw set right here. That's a, that's a nice cell right there. And then I usually sell all the metal pieces here. You can clean these off. I use a wire brush. So even though I call it metalware, sometimes it's raw actual rust, but most times it's metalware. So I sell that. And you got this and this. Of course, there's these two. So so much fun parts on the N64. So somebody must have put a piece of tape on there. I'm not sure why that is. I just noticed that. Even the bottom cases are worse. Are, are sellable. This goes with that, that. So I usually sell this, this, this. So and I should have everything listed. I got tons of these. I even sell my twos, threes, four sets. I still have to sell everything is 
cheap as possible. Although just recently I had to go to eleven dollars is my, my minimum now. I just can't do. I I was doing eight dollar, nine dollar orders, and I just I don't even leave with a dollar after that. Because by the time I shipping and all the fees, I, I cost me almost eight dollars now out the door, seven eight bucks. And I, you know, I get it out. The, I get it out the same day, so I gotta make something. So I, I, every, every, everything now is at least starts with eleven dollars. I have no choice. Oh, and then you got these fun things. Boom, boom, boom. So this is my old. This is my old five. It has the two chips here. This is fun. These are nice and clean too. <clears throat> Somebody had taken all these apart. I don't know why. This is this is what I want right here. These sell really fast. You always want to pull it off and clean under the here. See all that little crap there? This all this stuff will come off. Oh yeah, so that's what that. There's my 05. And then each one of these actually is labeled. So when I sell them, I'm actually putting that that number right there. You're getting these are actually clean a lot of times these are really metal wear or corroded because it's outside air and where there's outside air that's an, an issue so we're going to sell those today this is going to get listed today so that's all our metal so that's all lots of fun stuff right there I sell like a whole set like this, and of course the screw, screw sets are an easy sell. Get those up. What was I just doing? Oh, so this stuff comes off. See all this crap? That little yellow stuff. I don't know what it is or why it's there, but it's just yeah. Sometimes they're really bad. This is just the yellow stuff. You can't hurt to take it off because it may impede your connection so we want to take these off and <coughs> clean them up all that stuff uh, it's from this is 1997 what are we in 2024 so it's been collecting for a while Except for that yellow it's always yellow like that however there are some that you get that are bugged i had lots of i had a really bugged one recently Somewhere there's a video of it. So I'm almost closing in on 5,000 videos. Because I'm always doing stuff every day. So I might as well just video it. I used to have comments, but then people weren't nice. So I, I got rid of that. I can't keep track of what people were. This is a fun space to just see stuff. It's positive and fun space. My little channel here. So I don't want any negative or any silly stuff. So. I had to give her another comments that just were not working at all. So if you want to watch, you can watch. If you don't, you don't want to. Hey, you can dislike, though. There's a dislike button. So I've got lots of dislikes. And I'm not sure why, but it is what it is. Just kind of showing you some stuff you might not know otherwise or see inside of a system or some, some, some fun fact. <laughs> Basically, all this is about really I'm not really doing it for any other reason. I don't make any money on it here, although it does. I can send it back to my eBay store. So if I get a listing like oh, this listing will have a link to my eBay where this will be listed. This will be listed. That'll be listed. That'll be listed. So that I can do. So it's a little mirror back to the store. So. Yeah, see all that yucky stuff there? Yeah, I'm, I'm all about just positive and doing fun stuff. That's it. No silly stuff. Not here. It's the world is, is the silly stuff. Going mad. <sighs> but so, I'll try to make this a peaceful place. Playing around game stuff. Alright, so that one's done. 
sweet. So let's um, just rinse and repeat here now. I have to crack these. I have to do it this way because these ones are always on there really tight. This is the 08, which is your more preferred board. But your 09 is your best. And I got that in there. I saved that one. I got that scoop in the high res in a Kodoki lot of all. So that was a keeper. And then I found the 09 board, which was a keeper. So, on to. Oh, bugger. Uh oh. oh. I just ran into a problem. Rats. Yeah, once in a while I'll keep something. It's harder to find, like an 09 board. I was going to lose that in a strip if I didn't do put pressure on that one. Yeah, see, so you got to do these because these ones are really bad, actually. I think I got all those. So I've been doing the gaming stuff now for I'm saying about eight years. 2016, maybe I really started. I was doing... I started doing uh, salvage items, like from liquidation.com and all that stuff. I did broken TVs for a long time, for, for a while. That was a nightmare. I was getting 24-foot trucks full of broken TVs and boxes. The amount of recycling involved in that, to just get to the motherboard to sell, is just was, a, was pretty crazy. And then things always got returned on me. And I was selling some of the TVs that worked. And those got broken on during shipping. Nothing fun about selling TV parts at all. And then I got into gaming stuff. And then I kind of learned as I went because I didn't really know much. I grew up on all this stuff, but I never actually took any of these apart. I remember. That now that's all I do. And boy have I learned a lot of stuff. Yeah, I've uh, called my at home gaming school college. And I'm giving myself a good bachelor's degree now. It's all the modding stuff I don't know. But all the original stock stuff I kinda each system has so many different types of versions inside. That's what takes the longest to learn. So that's my live feed here. I'm going to build a higher canopy that I have above here for my lights and stuff. It's going to be much higher. I'm going to put a sliding rail for a camera in the middle. I kind of know what I want to do. I don't know. I should be able to get a better view for the live shot. The only, only shot I get now, live shot, is over there. It's coming into there. It's the only spot I can really get it. Eventually, I may have something outside. A little studio outside or something. So someday the, the workspace will be a little bit better. <laughs> but I work with what I have. Crack them, then it's easy. That's a little screw map. You can see these are the little guys up here.
Oops. See, that's what you don't want in there. I didn't crack that one. That's a tough one, too. Right. So it's two good sets. Basically the same, and now once I get this done, I already have the screw sets listed, so those are all set. But I'll put a link to the screw sets if you need one. Try to get them off as easy as clean as I can. A couple of little, like two of those. Yeah, so in this video, it's gonna be all I'll, I'll link every part. It's gonna be these two motherboards. I have these listed. This will be a whole nother metal set. Let's see how it gets metal wear. So there's all that outdoor air. And it's right there. lots of these all the time these part so this is every just about everything on here is good so the other one did not have one on it that's why i had more set Here, fun stuff there. Oh, and this one. So the 08, we'll see in one second here. We'll have the half a chip. I don't know electronics, so I don't know why. Or what the difference of this chip is. But it's smaller. So there you go. So you got See, there's no chip right here. See, it's only half. And this is 1999. 1997 is an 05. See, so it has the chip there. So there's the difference there. So 08 is your preferred. 09 is your best. Fine. I believe that's a 2000 board. Probably been the last board before the GameCube came out. We should be hearing about the new. Nintendo NX soon. Or Nintendo Switch 2, one or the other, whatever they call it. Alright, so again, we want to go into here. And I've already tested both of these and they work fine. I will retest them again. Same thing. It's all this crud here. A lot of times you just get off. So, I always want to take these off and get all that. This one's not bad, actually. See, this one doesn't have that yellow like the other one did. Alright, so there's your 1999-08 half-chip board. Pretty clean. About as clean as you don't see them, really. Huh? Last ones I got were really bad. These ones are super clean. Alright. 05, 